everybody, it's Matt Brown here from Matt Brown's Guitar Studio in Chicago and the band Dead Parade. I am back with another lesson on a song from Aerosmith's Toys in the Attic. So this one is Walk This Way. So this one's in standard tuning and we're in the key of E minor to start with. It switches back and forth between E minor and C major throughout the song. But anyway, throughout I will break down everything in order. So we're going to start with the opening riff and move our way to the end. So this classic opening riff, you don't want to play with like full on palm muting, but you know, kind of a little slightly more slight palm muting. And the uh, E notes on your fourth string are not palm muted as well as your low E notes on the big strings. So you've got this, you know, so you want to make sure that you're hearing those kind of important accents there. So that's the deal with the main guitar. The second guitar just comes in and hits the final A5 power chord along with us. And then after that, we're going to transition into the, the verse riff. So I'll show you that next. With the verse alternating with the main riff, um, as I'm going to call it, you're also getting kind of a, a shift in time feels. Like the verse has this kind of swung 16th note feel to it. It's not quite as heavy on the recording as what my computer is doing because the computer has to just do it a set way. You can't like, you know, set the degree of the swing. So, you know, it's a little bit lighter than you want to do what I'm doing here. So now at this point, we're back to the main riff and you're going to see some little variations played by the guitar that's panned to the, the left side of the uh, stereo speaker, speaker channel. Also, the guitar is a little bit slightly less palm muted here. So let's check this out. Next, we have another verse, and um, there's just you know some very slight variations that occur throughout it. You probably heard me throwing some of them in there, just like leaving it an eighth note long instead of doing like the extra pull off at the end. Those kind of little tiny details. So I'm not going to play it again. We're going to jump ahead to the first chorus. I'm going to show you the guitar pan left first. <laughs> You can either do it with your index and ring and then do the stretch with your pinky or you can do it with your middle finger like I was doing. I think that's a little bit easier for most people to do, you know, that big stretch. Um, so anyway, I didn't notate the end of the rhythm for these measures because it's improvised and you can kind of just throw in little, you know, extra rhythm at the end or not, um, you know, depending on your taste. So the other guitar part, let's check how that sits in the mix with everything. It's really simple, just playing this little dyadic thing. So, as you can hear, we have our first little baby solo. So, the solo is played over the verse riff. It's just half as long as it normally is for a verse. Then we're going to go to the main riff um, with the clickety-click 
added variations in it again, and then another verse riff. So I've shown you all of the riffs to the song at this point, except for the very, very end outro riff, which is a very slight variation on the opening riff. So that is what the, you know, the guitar solo is played under, so I will show you that riff. and show you the solos. So this first little mini solo is played out of a combination of the C minor and C major pentatonic scales, which is, you know, very common for getting a bluesy sound here. C major pentatonic scales blended together again. The next section that closes out the song is the E minor section, and that is mainly E minor pentatonic, E minor blues scale. Some uh, you, you'll see some C sharp and some G sharp notes thrown in, so that's kind of more of an E major pentatonic kind of sound, just for a little major flair there. But that's that's about it. Okay, so that song closes out with the solo. That's about all I could figure out as the song was fading out. So, if you'd like my transcription for the whole song, just hit me up. My email is there on the screen. Or if you feel so inclined, maybe think about subscribing to my Patreon. You get access to all of the transcriptions I've ever done, which is more than what's here on YouTube. So, thanks a lot for watching. My name is Matt Brown, and I'll see you all around for some more lessons. Thanks.